Welcome back, super friends and super family. My name is Nick, and today I'm reacting to Friends Season 4, Episodes 1 and 2. So, starting a new season of Friends, always an exciting thing to do. I mean, I had an absolute blast with the last season and the final episode, you know, we have that big open-ended question, which door did Ross go into? And I'm I'm wondering where exactly this season is gonna pick up. Are we gonna pick up on that scene and see what happened? Are we gonna pick up like a little bit later in the future with an aftermath of what's going on? I mean, I am putting all my chips in and I am betting that Ross went into Rachel's room. But I'm still, I, I kind of want to see that conversation. You know what I mean? What happened in that moment? So I'm hoping we get to see that, but maybe not. Maybe it's going to be kind of a little bit of a jump forward and we'll hear about those events later. I'm not too sure, but even outside of that particular situation, I'm obviously excited to start a new season, check things out. I mean, each season has a slightly different flavor while still maintaining the kind of friend standard that we all have come to love, at least so far for me. So I'm just curious to see what will be different, what will be the same, what directions the characters go in each season. Usually the first episode is a little bit crazy too, so that's always exciting as well. But as always, if you want to watch along the full unedited reaction, Action and also check out future reactions of the show and support the channel that is all up on patreon the link to that is in the description down below for now let's get into today's reaction friends season four episodes one and two bb found out about this lady who knew her mom and dad i don't really know what happened with that oh maybe she didn't tell anybody boss has to choose between rachel and the bald girl i don't no one happened there either. <laughs> nice little recap, Joey. Okay, so we're still on the beach. We're right back where we were. Okay. Ross, it's an easy choice. Come on, we know. It's Rachel, right? Has to be. Hey! <laughs> you can't- that's cheating. This show just cheated right now. Got all sunburned. Oh. <laughs> it's gotta be Rachel's room, though. Okay, I'll be in her room. Oh. Okay, yeah, it was Rachel's room. <laughs> Oh, wow, okay, no words necessary. Okay, I gotta go. What? <laughs> that was fast. I can't stay here all night. She's gonna wanna do stuff. Oh, true. <laughs> That's a good point. I'll heard that you are not in the mood. No, she likes that. Oh, what? Mm. I can't tell you how many mornings I woke up no. with her. Oh. No, don't need all the details. Don't need all the details. Why am I telling you that? I don't know. <laughs> It wasn't every morning. Oh, making it worse. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't. Stop, dude. <laughs> okay, wow, so this is big. So are we going to start the season with Ross and Rachel getting back together? I mean, I feel like every one of Ross's relationships has started while he's dating another girl. You know what I mean? There's a pattern here. Oh, that's a good, that's a good part to add to the updated intro. <laughs> that's good too. Oh, uh, Ross has such good facial expressions. You know, I was born and then everyone started lying their asses off. <laughs> that is true. People lie to Phoebe a lot. We were close. How close? Three of us, we were kind of a, um, a couple. I think there's another word for that, right? I don't know how that would work. Well, we <laughs> I'm not asking. <laughs> Somehow I got pregnant. I was 18 years old. That is, yeah. My mom had killed herself. My dad had run off. I was living in a gremlin with a guy named Cindy who talked to his hand. I mean, it's funny, but it's also really sad. Thought I was leaving you with the best parents in the world. You did? No, you're here. I would like to get to know you. Okay. But he does. <laughs> <laughs> You walked out on me, and I'm just, I'm gonna do the same to you. Wait, okay. I don't ever want to see you again. She doesn't mean that, but she's just upset. I totally get it. Where's my purse? <laughs> We're out of soda. I'll go out and get you some. Really? Nope, because I'm not your boyfriend. I mean, you could still be nice to your friend. My mom's friend Phoebe is actually my birth mom. I found a dried up seahorse. That's not the way to break the silence. Wait a second, don't you want to stay here and talk about it? I need to be alone. Yeah, I get that. Need some time to process all that. Monica! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't mean alone, alone. Alone. <laughs> It's over. Dang, we didn't get to see the breakup. I kind of wanted to see how that went down. It was long. That's bad. I didn't realize how late it was till I noticed the five o'clock shadow on her head. <laughs> <laughs> that is clever. Who wrote that line? She just left. How's everyone gonna react? I wrote you a letter. Really? I like mail. <laughs> She's like, read it before we kiss more. I just need to know how you feel about this stuff. Okay. <laughs> 
Hold on, read first. <laughs> so I better get cracking on this baby. Is there an audiobook version, Rachel? I'll be waiting for you. Just come up when you're done. Okay. I'll be up. That's a lot. 18 pages. <laughs> 18 pages, dang. Front and back. It's a miniature novel, a novella. <laughs> An interesting start to their reunion. I mean, we've all been there. Oh, oh, oh. How far did you get, bro? What happened to you? Why didn't you come up? Done. No, we haven't even started, have you? I wanted to read every word carefully, twice. Is this the way you want to start it out? Does it? Oh my gosh, it's like when you don't study for your test. Sorry? Does it? What could she be talking about? I'm trying to guess. I would say yes, if I was Ross. You just said that you read it twice. Look, you know what? It either does or it doesn't. And if you have to even think no, about no. it. Oh, great. Oh, great. You have to think about it. I don't. Uh, in fact. Choose one. 50-50 bet. I have decided that, that it. Does. 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 <laughs> oh, no. Is that bad? <laughs> oh. oh, good. It's good. I told you. I told you. Okay. I'm sure. I swear he's gonna lose these papers somehow, isn't he? I just know it's gonna get burned or lost in the ocean. There's a nuclear holocaust. I'm the last man on earth. He's still continuing this? <laughs> eh. <laughs> Not an encouraging response. Hey you guys, take a look at this. Check this baby out. That looks like a hole from Decision to Leave. If anyone's seen that movie, please tell me. It's so, so good. <laughs> I mean, look, it literally is just like it. What'd you step on? A uh, seashell? No, it hurts! It hurts! It hurts! Oh, dang. Take you back to the house? It's like two miles! Yeah, and I'm a little tired from digging the hole. <laughs> yeah, think about Joey. Damn the jellyfish! Damn all the jellyfish! <laughs> the only one thing he can do. What is it? You're gonna have to pee on it. Is that actually true? I think that is true, right? Yeah, I saw it on the Discovery Channel. You know what? He's right. Well, forget it! You'd rather suffer? I'm ready to get the hell out of here. Aww. Oh. oh. <laughs> Are you? Yes, we are. Oh, that's so great! <laughs> Ooh, not for Bonnie. Well, no, but... How does it be? Uh, Nothing. Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> we don't need to talk about anything at all. I'm gonna take a shower. Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and it really does? It does. It really... Ross, start reading immediately, please. Read, 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 read. Speed, read. What? What? I'm so curious. It so does not! What? She goes on for five pages about how I was unfaithful to her. We were on a break! <laughs> that one more time, I'm gonna break up with you. <laughs> but this breakup was not all my fault. She says here... Ross, take a breather, please. I can begin to trust you again. Does that seem like something you can do? Does it? I mean... <laughs> no. <I'm... laughs> You're back with Rachel. If you bring this up now, you're gonna wreck the best thing that ever happened to you. True. You're right. Yeah, I guess I'll let it go. Okay, good. Sure, it's hard to forget, but that doesn't mean you have to talk about it. <laughs> Joey's like, enough already. That we should never, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Vow of silence. What the hell happened on that? Oh, nothing. Between us and the sea, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Our mom is not our birth mom. This this other lady is our birth mom. Right, okay, the one that lives in Montauk. What? I read about her in mom's suicide note. What? Do you still have it? Hang on. Poor Phoebe is the last to find out about everything. They didn't tell me there was a suicide note. Yeah, so how have you been doing? Been better. Goodbye, Phoebe and Ursula. I'll miss you. P.S. Your mom lives in Montauk. You did want to share that? It's pretty much the gist. Oh my gosh. Where's the original? You read the poem, right? No. All right, hang on. Is Ursula being mean or is she just not quite get it? I can't tell. Ask the cheese, please. <laughs> it's going to be like this for the rest of the season. <laughs> You can't even look at me, can you? No. Nope. <laughs> hey, it's Phoebe! We can talk to Phoebe! I'm too depressed to talk. I'll give you a thousand dollars to talk to us. You would? Oh my gosh. What do you think about making that beach trip an annual thing? No! no. <laughs> you can just take Rachel. Nothing all over me. Come on, what happened, Joey? This is gonna be like a group therapy session. But we have to say something. We have to get it out. It's eating me alive. Yeah, I think just say it. Monica got stung by a jellyfish. All right! All right. 
<laughs> Let's leave it at that. Dumb bad. Couldn't stand. I, I couldn't walk. It's like a theater monologue. Scared and alone. We didn't think we could make it. No rehearsal necessary. I'd seen this thing on the Discovery Channel. Yeah, about jellyfish and how if you... Now he knows. Now he knows. Ew! <laughs> you peed on yourself? Ew! I'm guessing not just that. I tried, but I, I couldn't bend that way. So who did it? Chandler? Joey. <laughs> That's right, I stepped up. It was for a good cause. She's my friend and she needed help. If I had to, I'd pee on any one of you. <laughs> Ross gets it. He's like, I get it. Only, uh, I couldn't. Oh. I got the stage fright. <laughs> I wanted to help, but there was just too much pressure. So I turned to Chandler. <laughs> the understudy. <laughs> what sound was that? Joy kept screaming at me. Do it now. Do it. Do it. Sometimes late at night, I can still hear the screaming. This is peer pressure pee. That's because sometimes I just do it through my wall to freak you out. <laughs> Look who it is. I invite all of you to count the colors in your bedroom. That's a good way to end it. You, you go away. <laughs> the reason I never looked you up was because the way you're reacting right now, and can't we just, you know, start from here? But if you had looked her up earlier, she probably wouldn't. But just one last thing. What? I'm family. Yeah, but it's not like we're losing anything. What does she mean? We know each other or anything, or that we have anything in common. We don't have anything in common. I see some resemblance. I like pizza. I like pizza! <laughs> I like, um, the Beatles. Oh my god, so do I! All right, most people like the Beatles, too. Do you want to get something to eat? I'm kind of hungry. Wow, wow, okay, Phoebe. I hope this goes well for Phoebe, though. So nervous about that letter. <laughs> oh, Ross, don't get triggered, man. Showed me how much you've grown, you know? Just give a, mm, answer. I suppose. Oh. You have, you should give yourself credit. I mean, my mom never thought this would work out. Really? She was all, once a cheater, always a cheater. I mean. But if time was what you needed just to gain a little perspective. <laughs> okay, Rachel's doing this on purpose. On the break! Oh, here we go. Coffee house? You bet. <laughs> Good call. You and that girl from the copy place, which yesterday you took full responsibility for. Oh, don't say this. Don't say this. I fell asleep. You fell asleep? Your prose was boring. <laughs> Front and back! Okay, so they're not getting back together. Why do you arm means you're. <laughs> we are so over. Fine by me! <laughs> Okay, that was a pretty good mic drop. Andy, when you're at home on Saturday nights playing Scrabble with Monica. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> I still have your letter. <laughs> Dang, Ross improved his birds. It doesn't happen to every guy, and it is a big deal. I knew it. Chandler, wow. That was a pretty good mic drop from Rachel, too. Dang, that was a good fight for both of them. Jin. We were playing Jin. What game are they playing? A couple. We could play this game naked. Oh my gosh, Chandler. Is he actually in love with her or something? I think you're great. I think you're sweet and you're smart. Like a brother. And I love you. <laughs> like a brother. But you will always be the guy who peed on me. <laughs> <laughs> there is that as well. Oh, Captain Crunch is so good. How many times do I have to tell you? You turn and slide. How about we just get something else there? You turn and slide, you throw it out. Yes. <laughs> what is that on the door over there? Are those masks or something? We're not throwing it out. I built this thing with my own hand. Yeah, but it's kind of too large. How about we sell it? All right. Okay. You're going to have to tell them. Oh dang, that's their home? That's a pretty cool setup. You mind if we stick in a different cabinet? They seem alright with it. <laughs> Sign here to get an upgrade in your apartment. Dang, that was so crazy though, last episode, right? Ross and Rachel getting back together. I was like, alright, they're gonna take this route for this season. Nope, it's over. Why does it zoom in like that? That's something new too, right? Monica, it's Chip. Yes! It's who? The guy who took Rachel to the prom? He is still so cute. You're so lucky. He's like the most popular guy in school. Okay, good for her. Her hair looks good too. Okay. <laughs> we just had the best conversation. Oh, I love when she's that happy. Oh, here we go. They're going to be at the awkward stage again. I've got a product report to read. It's like eight pages. I hope I don't fall asleep. <laughs> Chip Matthews called. Wonder what he wants. Uh, about that. I bet he sensed that I was ready to have sex with another guy. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you give him a call? This better not mess things up for Monica going out. I'm gonna be so angry at Ross. Are you sure you want to hear this? Oh, I'm sure. I'm not sure. Monica Geller? 
Oh. Ross is savoring this. He called to ask out Monica. <laughs> that's that's got to be embarrassing. <laughs> Okay, I take it back. Maybe Ross and Rachel are better not together. This fighting is so entertaining. From the heart. Come on. Encore. I'm reading your ad. Stunning Entertainment Center. Fine Italian craftsmanship. He needs to take some credit. Is there selling the Entertainment Center? Hi, I love that thing. Well, you don't have it in your apartment. Yeah, see? Uh, Geppetto? Geppetto. <laughs> $5,000? Are you insane? Ad alone costs 300 bucks. What? I'm changing it to $50 or your best offer. How about just anyone who can carry it out can get it? And you call yourself an accountant? Time is money. Convenience is worth stuff. What do you do? <laughs> I can't believe you don't know what I do for a living. I forget his official stuff. I know he works in the office. He's like a manager or something, right? Whose cat is that? Oh my god, no! Kitty! No! Oh, it's probably just cold outside. Oh my god. What? what? Nothing? Nothing. What? I just have this really strong feeling that this cat is my mother. I mean... Oh, she was a cat? <laughs> I'm sure. First of all, okay, there's the feeling. Phoebe has a good radar for this stuff. My mother's favorite fish was orange ruffy. Okay. <laughs> Cats like fish. Yes. Hi, Mommy! <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works. Phoebe's mom's got a huge pair. Let it go. <laughs> when are you going to tell me that you're going out with Chip Matthews? Is it okay if I go out with Chip Matthews? No. Why not? You would want to after what he did to me. Oh, what happened? I couldn't find him for two hours. He was having sex with Amy Wells. Ooh. That was back in high school. How could that still bother you? I mean, why, of all people, do you have to go out with Chip? I mean, you were excited to hear from him. You went to one where you were popular. I went to one where band uniform they had to have specially made. Specially made? <laughs> Project for one of the home ec classes. I mean, that is a very different high school experience. He's called me up and asked me out. That girl inside of me really wants to go. I, I owe her this. I never let her eat. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Okay, good. Could you leave him somewhere and go have sex with another guy? <laughs> If the opportunity arises, definitely. A couple calls last night, but I don't think any of them are going to work out. Yes, Joy has a very careful screening process. I mean... She keeps squirming and trying to get away, just like when she was alive. <laughs> How long is your mom going to be with us? Forever. I have to return a call in the other room. Why can't you use the phone in here? I'm returning a call from a certain mom at the B-E-A-C-H. Why is she spelling? Oh, so the cat mom? You can't tell me you actually believe there's a woman inside that cat. Oh, but if it makes her feel better. Rachel, of course you do. <laughs> Yes, I do. You're not going to suck me into this. Because you always have to be right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Ross, it's so hard to resist. Rachel knows how to push his buttons. Jurassic Park could happen. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. Pretty? Not 5,000 nice, that's for sure. We don't have 50 bucks, but would you be willing to trade for it? We got a canoe. <laughs> you don't want a canoe, do you? Joey's not the best negotiator. I really don't think we need a canoe. You gotta take the canoe. Uh, absolutely not. Just take the entertainment center, and then when you get home, throw the canoe away. I built that canoe. Give it to Goodwill. Good for you! Okay, they're in the exact same situation. <laughs> I just found tacked up on a telephone pole. Looks kind of familiar. Oh, this is gonna be hard, though. Phoebe's not gonna want to give it a back. There's a little girl in Soho looking for this cat. You know what that means? $200 reward split five ways. That's not a lot. Do we have to tell her? Yes, we have to tell Tell her. Oh, but it's made her so happy. I think you still have to tell her. Crazy lady thinks her mother is in a cat. <laughs> Ross has a point. When you see Phoebe, you will tell her. I hate it when Ross is right. <laughs> we know. He is right, isn't he? I think this might be one of the times when he's wrong. You really? think? What? No, he's right. Okay, I thought he was going to argue devil's advocate or something. <laughs> I hope she doesn't take this badly, though. How's that going? Come on, Joey. We took a nap together today. My mom fell asleep on my tummy and purred. Oh, That's so sweet. But... I'm gonna get some coffee. Joey couldn't do it. He bailed. <laughs> okay, Monica, you got this. Huh? What'd you say, Joe? I'll be right there. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> All right, Chandler, it's gonna come down to you. I just know it. All right, I'm coming already. already. Okay, it'll be Ross when he gets back. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> Hey, Rach, how you doing? I'm great. Even though I'm not seeing anyone right now, I've really never felt better about myself. It's like running into your ex. I mean, it literally is for her, right? So, uh, Monica ready yet? Not yet. How's, um, Amy Welsh? I haven't seen her since... 
<laughs> now he remembers. This is the unit for you, my friend. Tons of storage compartments, some big enough to fit a grown man. It's been tested. My roommate bet me five bucks that I couldn't, and then he stuck a board through the handles and locked me in. You had to have been there. I started feeling like I was in a coffin. <laughs> It'll kill Bill energy. You can't fit in that thing. That's not deep enough. Oh, yeah? Try it. If I can't, I'll knock five bucks off the price of the unit. Give yourself a deal. Is he gonna lock Joey in? <laughs> See? I knew it. Sometimes I come in here just to get away from oh, it. Oh, wow. Hey, a nickel! Oh, Joey. Oh, that's rough. They're suffering so much because of this thing. Oh, my God, you still have the chipper. You know what? A motorcycle is a chopper. And your chip. <laughs> Lipper from the chipper. <laughs> How about you? Still hang with Simmons and Zana. I run into Goldie from time to time. Stick, Browns, Zolkoff, McGuire. I mean, he had a very different high school experience as well. Is that all? Uh, you know, after high school, you just kind of lose touch. Uh, okay. I ran into Richard Dorfman. Oh, how is he? Not so good. Me and Simmons gave him a wedgie. <laughs> At this age? An architect now? Yeah, they still wear underwear. Okay. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, my God! What? Oh, Joey. What happened? Promised he wouldn't take the chair. Uh, well, this guy came by to look at the unit. He said he didn't think it was big enough to fit a grown man. You got in voluntarily? How did you fall for it twice? If I ever run into that guy again, you know what I'm gonna do? Bend over? <laughs> <laughs> and then Zayna. <laughs> Just let one rip. <laughs> oh my gosh, thumbs down on Chipper, please. I can already tell. Not that I don't enjoy talking about people we went to high school with, because I do, but maybe we could talk about something else. He's stuck in high school, you can tell. You know where I work. You still work at the multiplex? I could give up that job. <laughs> okay. I get free posters for your room. He takes child at heart to the next level. Do you still live with your parents? Yes. Oh, yeah, but I can stay out as late as I want. <laughs> Cancel the date. Oh, poor Monica. She was so excited. Oh, man. He took the five of spades. I don't think so. I don't know. Here it is. <laughs> what happened? Joey was born, and then 28 years later, I was wrong. <laughs> so how was your day? Hell. Bad. Tonight, I actually went out with Chip Matthews in high school. And realized you were missing out on nothing. I got to dump. Chip Matthews. <laughs> That's not bad, right? What did the insurance company say? Oh, they said, uh, you don't have insurance here, so stop calling us. Oh. Uh. Do you mean tell her? No. <sighs> okay, fine. Do it, Ross. This cat belongs to a little girl. She chose to find me. I mean, I have to respect Maybe. her decision, right? It doesn't work like that. Oh, yeah, okay. that that's right. They all just go along? I am sorry that you feel guilty or whatever about spending time with your new mom, but this is not your old mom. I would have taken another angle, but he is right. I believe this is my mother. Even if I'm wrong, who cares? Just be a friend. Be supportive. I mean, if it wasn't someone else's, that makes sense. I don't know what to say. You could say you're sorry to her mom. Really? <laughs> Rachel just couldn't resist. I think she would like that. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to see this. Mrs. Buffet? <laughs> Sorry about what I said. It was insensitive of me to say that you were just a cat. This is like every celebrity apology, right? When clearly you are also the reincarnated spirit of my friend's mother. Not bad. We both forgive you. Uh. <laughs> I hope you know that you still mean a lot to me. You're welcome to come back anytime. If she could come back as a cow, we'd really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm gonna take you home. I'll go with you. Me too. Okay, good. So Phoebe's gonna give her back, though. I got an extra food time. Dude, you don't have to brag. We got nothing here. Joey. <laughs> Joey. <laughs> they ended up getting the canoe. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad they don't even say a word. That just makes it better. <laughs> All right, so that is Friends Season 4, Episodes 1 and 2. And I think the season is off to a really, really strong start. I mean, maybe it's just I'm excited and I enjoy Friends so much. It's just always fun. But I feel like these two episodes were really well written and really funny. Like, I'm very impressed. I feel like for Season 3, well, I guess the start of Season 3 is very strong as well, right? That was with the Princess Leia one. So I guess that's uh, the seasons just in general have been starting out strong. But this one, I just feel like everything about it, like the writing, the storylines, I just feel not only very entertained and laughing, but very engaged with the direction they've started at this season. I mean, first of all, kind of the big one, Ross and Rachel. I mean, it was nice seeing them get back together just because, you know, as much as I kind of wanted Rachel to break up with Ross based off everything that happened, it's just, I do feel like they work as a couple in a lot of ways. And I like both the characters, you know, they make me laugh so much. So seeing them happy 
was nice. But then, of course, the way that they played that out and had them end up, you know, not working out by the end, and now they're on bad terms. It just, at first, I was like, am I going to enjoy this? Are we going to repeat the same beats like when they first broke up? But no, it feels like really strong and engaging. And just, I, I'm sorry, but it's so entertaining seeing them fight and argue. You know what I mean? I feel like there's been a couple, like some of the moments between the two of them, like just roasting each other, taking every opportunity to rub it in. It's very, very entertaining. I honestly want to see more of it. I mean, it sucks for their characters that they're at that stage, but it's very, very funny. And then, you know, we ended up with some, some traumatic experiences at the beach with Monica, Joey, and Chandler. I also thought that was a nice kind of B storyline to start off the episode. And, and that's what I thought too. I've heard the same thing too, right? If you pee on a sting, on a jellyfish sting, that does help get rid of it. I actually do not know, you know, I'm not from Australia or something. I don't know what to do. I've been fortunate enough. I mean, I've been swimming in the ocean many times, but I've never encountered a jellyfish. But the only thing I know about it besides, you know, if I need to go to a hospital would be to pee on it too. So, I mean, I, I feel like you're at the end of the day, you're helping out a friend. But then the big thing with Phoebe and her mother, and I feel like that's a really good balance because what I feel like the writers did a really good job with the first time Ross and Rachel broke up, I feel like it was treated more seriously, which I did like because that was kind of like more of the plot and there were other things that made it funnier. This time I feel like I'm really enjoying the humor of that aspect of them fighting and arguing, but then to balance out the more serious storyline is of course picking up with Phoebe and with her birth mother and I mean anytime I hear the term birth mother it makes me think of that Sam Morrill joke which I think is very very funny but you know I totally get where Phoebe's coming from right it's not easy just to if you're abandoned as a kid you know I can't imagine what that would feel like right so I don't have any judgment at all towards her for feeling upset for feeling angry it, it's got to just be a complicated thing in general especially because Phoebe we've seen throughout the show for such a long Long time like that means so much to her like all she really wants is family so I'll be very curious like if we see more of her birth mother if she's gonna be a recurring character I kind of hope so because she does seem truly sorry for how things turned out and sorry for not making an effort to reconnect to Phoebe I mean I really feel like she should have you know maybe she's young at the time when she first had Phoebe but the past is the past you can't change that at this point but hopefully now in the present I wouldn't mind seeing them have a relationship because I think that would uh, mean a lot to Phoebe. And I also think that was a nice setup for the storyline in episode two with Phoebe as well, with finding a cat who she believes is her mother who committed suicide, right? And I think that it, it's a funny storyline, right? It's very Phoebe. It was funny how all, you know, I like how they lined up one after the other and all the friends failed to like say something to Phoebe. And then it was just perfect ending with Ross having to apologize to a cat when you know, you know, how difficult that is uh, for him to do to swallow his pride in that way but I think it was set up very well for kind of a serious there's like a serious undertone underneath all of that because it shows I feel like so much of the mindset and what's going on in Phoebe's head with having just discovered her birth mother, right? It's a it's a complicated thing emotionally. So I'm hoping that Phoebe will, you know, see the light at the end of the tunnel. But if she needs to take her time, I 100% understand under the circumstances, right? And then uh, Joey and Chandler getting robbed. I mean, Joey... Oh, that's strike two. He fell for the same trick twice. I mean, at this point, I would be like, the entertainment center, that, that, that thing is cursed. Let's just get rid of it forever. Forget it ever happened. I mean, getting robbed is no joke, okay? Like, if that, if I just woke up in my apartment and my computer was gone, my camera was gone, that would be a big deal. That's a big hit, you know what I mean? You know, Joey and Chandler, Chandler's making decent money, but Joey's a struggling actor. That's not a nothing thing. I, I would definitely be Chandler in that situation, not Joey, but they have the could do. They have something and it will be interesting. I do think it gives at least the option for them to kind of redecorate the apartment. I don't know if they could do something funny or something silly or something crazy, but that might be kind of a storyline they could explore just to make the set look a little bit different. But, th but there were just the writing of these two episodes I thought was very, very strong. I mean, the acting as always is delivered. You know, I feel like there are a couple lines that are just so, so witty. I mean, Friends has some good writing overall, but I feel like these first two episodes 
episodes stand out to me is just being very well written. There are some great burns between Ross and Rachel. I don't remember all of them, but <laughs> Rachel saying Jurassic Park could happen and just, oh, that was amazing. That was really, really good. Oh, and quickly, I almost forgot, but Monica and uh, Chip Chipper, whatever that loser guy stuck in high school was, I mean, it's kind of a cliche that the popular kid in high school is still stuck in high school, but look, it's a cliche for a reason. I feel like that does happen to people, and it just, it was nice the way that it turned out for Monica's sake. It's like, I don't, I don't care about Chipper. If he's happy living with his parents, working in a movie theater, good on you, bro. But for Monica, you know, like, I feel like she had such this built-up idea of the popular, good-looking guy from high school thinking that he's all that. He's the prize catch to have. And then all it took was one date to quickly, quickly realize that she was not missing out, which I just think, like, obviously it would be better if Monica met someone great because that just, you know, you see the excitement, you know? <laughs> she has one potential date with someone who could be a good match. Like, it just brightens her whole life so immediately and thoroughly, you know what I mean? But the the second best option would be for her to realize that just because someone was like the number one dude in high school that everyone wanted to have, and because of course I feel like Monica, especially her experience in high school was so rough that, you know, that makes it even more so that she thinks this is the thing that's going to make me happy. But obviously she quickly realizes that she can do better, or at least she wants something different in her relationship. I mean, most people would, I believe. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed both of those episodes. A great, great start to this fourth season. I'm excited to see more. As always, the full unedited reaction is up on Patreon along with future episodes. If you don't want to wait and you'd care to support the channel, thank you to everyone who does. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero. What'd you step on? <laughs> I would say yes, if I was Ross. <laughs>